I'm your host eTorx. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Duratec Extra Long Ratcheting Wrench Set. It is a nine piece wrench set that includes a 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, 13mm, 14mm, 16mm, 17mm, 19mm, and a 22mm. It is a double box and design with one end of the box being a 72 tooth ratcheting design. The case is a EVA foam construction, not too soft, not too hard. I kind of like it. I like it a little bit better than the cheapo plastic cases that you get with most sets of various tools. The wrenches themselves are of chrome vanadium construction and they are made in Taiwan. I've had this wrench set for going on, I want to say about a year. And I absolutely love this set. I do not regret this purchase whatsoever. The ratcheting design, very taut. Does not have a whole lot of back drag to it. Grabs very instantly. Give you guys a better look at that. So we're gonna go forward and not a whole lot of slop there at all. I will say I have held some Husky ratcheting wrenches that have definitely had a lot more slop for even a greater price than say one of these one-to-one -one comparison. And speaking on the price point of these wrenches, right now they're on Amazon, they're sitting around about $61 at the time of recording this video. I think I paid 49 to 51, something like that. So the price has definitely gone up. And to tell you guys the truth, this was actually an accidental purchase. I was just cruising around Amazon, late on a Friday night, having a few e-dalt beverages, and I saw these suckers and made a quick purchase because I was like, hey, I need some, you know, box end ratcheting wrenches. But the thing was, I was thinking they were more like the mountain style or the K-Tool where one side was one size and one size was the other size, the whole niner. And I was thinking, well, that's kind of weird that one side isn't ratcheting, but eh, whatever. Showed up, I want to say two days later, I completely didn't even think about it at all. I ordered a few other tools that night too. Didn't look into it too much. That's my bad. I'm an idiot. You guys know that if you watch this channel. <laughs> but I got them. I was like, eh, screw it. I'll give them a shot. See what they're like. And if I hate them or, you know, can't really find a use out of them, send them back. I use these a lot. They have been great, especially to my diesel guys out there who work on a, a Zuzu NQRs or NPRs, excuse me, that upper fuel filter, yeah, this thing is money for that upper fuel filter. You'll be through that thing fast, changing that sucker out. So that 22 mil, been a really good friend of mine. Love the sucker. Other than being a moron, a con that I have found with these wrenches is the size skipping. You see that a lot with Taiwanese tools and it is what it is. It sucks and I hate it. You guys hate it. You know, going from an 8 to a 10 to 12, 13, 14, we skip the 15, we go to 17, but then we skip 18, and we skip everything all the way up to 22. That's annoying, but what it lacks in having the other sizes, it makes up for for having the zero offset. Granted, one side, uh, well, the box end side, the non-ratcheting box end side, does have this little lip on it, which is a blessing and a curse. I've had times working on four transits, trying to get it down into certain areas for doing the uh, the belt changes when you're pulling off that tensioner pulley. But God, is it just, if, it, if I could just shave that down just a little more and not lose the structural rigidity of this side and not have to worry so much about it. God, that'd be awesome. This is probably the wrong size anyway, but whatever i'm just showing you guys a good example of those sides and it's nice having that zero offset but at the same time having that little lip can be a blessing or a curse really depends on your scenario but for the most part what i like to do is use this side to break things free not worry about busting up the ratcheting mechanism because you know they're the warranty process especially with Amazon tools and my experience is always just such a pain in the butt. So I just want to make these suckers last and not have to worry about sending them back. Hopefully they accept the warranty and then they ship me out new ones. And I've never done a warranty process through Duratech. I'm sure it's a good process. I've just never done it. And it's just so much of a headache that I am careful with these suckers. So I bust stuff loose with this side and then I start ratcheting with this side. And just so you guys don't get confused, 
it only ratchets, ratchets one way. It is not reversible at all. So keep that in mind if you consider purchasing these. If you're gonna go tight or go loose, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Yeah, I'm a dyslexic guy. I'll tell you the difference between righty loosey and lefty tighty. Got some broken fasteners and uh, I don't wanna talk about that too much anymore. Another pro slash con of these is the case itself. I liked it for <laughs> a short amount of time, but it just takes up space. This thing is big and it's bulky. If you have a massive toolbox setup and you are OCD about having cases, which I like having cases for my tools, but it takes up real estate super bad. And I mean, it's definitely not thin by any means. Let me grab a pocket screwdriver to give you guys kind of an idea. Yeah, it's it's definitely not thin by any means. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you can shave it down, which I've done with some other cases of mine. But after a few months, I said, screw it. I got sick of fumbling wrenches around these wrenches. I just poured them all out and just kind of kept them organized in my box at the shop. It, it, it It's a blessing and a curse. Pro slash con. Do with that what you may. I liked it for a while, and then finally I just said, screw it. To speak on the strength of these wrenches, after one year of having them in a professional shop, they've held up pretty dang well. I haven't necessarily stood on them. That's usually my testament of a strong tool, but they have definitely pulled their weight, especially when I am really harfing on these suckers. Uh, the ratcheting mechanisms and all of them work just fine. I have no reason to believe that they will break tomorrow, and they've went through it all when it comes to grease, fuels, solvents, you name it. It's all hit this mechanism, and it's, they're all chugging along just fine, so I have no cause for concern of those, and I haven't really bent these wrenches at all. You know, you would think, especially with a lot of foreign-made tools having a, a questionable build quality, these things held up just fine and I have not yet to start to break or destroy them. I was especially worried about the construction of the non-ratcheting box in. They've held up just fine. These teeth have not been destroyed yet and I haven't really seen too much wear on them. So strength wise, very impressed with these. All in all, if I had to give these suckers a rating of one to 10, one being the worst tool I've ever used, and 10 being God's gift to earth when it comes to tools, <clears throat> I'd give these a solid 6. They haven't been crappy. They haven't been amazing. They've been all right. Um, I definitely am frustrated with the skips, and I'm definitely frustrated when it comes to some of the construction, and I'm definitely worrisome of the uh, longevity. They've held up great for now, but... Will I still have all of these five years from now? And will they still be doing their jobs? Uh, I do know there is a warranty process, but God, it just it's just a headache. And I don't want to deal with it, but that's my problem. That's my own stipulations that I have to deal with in my life. But all in all, they've been all right. They've done their job great. And I've enjoyed them. And the price point now is a little high. I would be a little hesitant to buy them, especially knowing what I was getting in my getting myself into with the actual design of the wrench. But for what it is, they've done me good and they've paid for themselves. So I can't complain too much. I'm happy I have them. I'm happy they're working. But would I buy another set for home just like this? I don't know. I would definitely explore my options. But uh, if there's nothing else that uh, is exactly like this, which I know that there isn't, I know there's other options out there then I would end up buying this set again. I can tell you that one for free. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. I've been your host, Etorx. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was informative for you. I do other tool review videos on my channel, as well as I do videos of my build series of my Drift Miata and my MR2 SW20 build series, as well as anytime I can have a camera going while I'm working on stuff and trying to fix things outside of uh, the workshop, I can't film there, but anytime I'm doing that, I try to have a camera going that way I can share what I'm doing with you guys and hopefully be informative and be able to help you guys out or entertain you whichever way I hope you guys enjoy watching the videos 
please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and really keeps me going on making more of these videos and helping you guys out. Please leave me a comment down below what you guys think of this video. Please leave me a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and let me know what you guys think. I've been your host, Etorx. Y'all have a good one.